Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to do the blanket stitch. I actually already have a tutorial on this, but since I made that video I changed the way I do it slightly and I had a couple of requests to make an updated tutorial. So I use the blanket stitch on my flat plushies like this. You can see I use the blanket stitch to sew all the way around here. And I also use it on my 3D plushies as you can see by this traffic cone. I use the blanket stitch on these edges and I've also used the blanket stitch on this edge but I turned it inside out so it's not as obvious. Okay so I have my fabric right here and as you can see I've lined it up so that the two edges are together and I also have my needle and thread. So I knotted my thread at the end as you can see and that's just to stop it unravelling. Normally you would use a matching thread colour to your fabric but I'm using a contrasting colour just to show you guys. So we're going to start off by putting the needle inside the fabric. As you can see I'm going inside the first layer not the second layer and this is because I want this little knot to be hidden inside the first layer so that it's not visible on the finished plush. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my needle in the second layer right in the same place where we've just sewn just like this. See that? And I'm going to pull it all the way through but I'm going to make sure I leave a little bit of thread like this because what I'm going to do then is put my needle back through this loop that we've just created and pull that tight. And then that's the first stitch of your blanket stitch. And now once you've done your first stitch you don't need to go back into the first layer. I'm just going to continue going in the second layer so I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to move a little bit along my fabric and then I'm going into the second layer going through both layers this time I'm going to pull it nearly all the way through leaving a loop just like before and then I'm going to put my needle through the loop and pull and that's your second stitch so I'm just going to keep doing this a couple more times for you guys through both layers leave a loop put it through the loop and pull tight through both layers leave a loop put it through the loop and pull tight once you get the hang of doing this you can do it faster and faster and then it's really simple um, this method is actually slightly quicker than if you guys watched my original video I just kind of gradually realised that one of the steps that I did in my first video isn't really necessary and I started doing my blanket stitch like this instead. It looks just the same and it's just as secure as my other one. Now can you guys see that how I pulled it tight but the two threads right here are still separated? Now if that happens all you need to do is take one of your threads because <clears throat> I'm sewing with a double thread here and I'm just going to pull it until as you can see the two threads are together again so I'll just continue sewing all the way down here And then once you're finished with your blanket stitch at the end of the plush, I'm going to make another stitch over the top of the last stitch that I did. That's just going to make it slightly more secure. Pull that tight. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my needle inside here. Can you see I'm putting it in the gap in between the two pieces of fabric? Pull that through. Then taking my fabric scissors, I'm going to cut off the thread. And then as you can see the thread is hidden on the wrong side of the fabric. Now if this is the right side of your fabric, if you're looking to turn it inside out, you will want to cut off your thread at this side. But in this example this is the right side of my fabric, so that's why I decided to cut my thread on this side. So I really hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any other requests for similar videos to this, maybe some other stitches that you don't quite understand, then you can leave those in the comments below and I will make sure to do those for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.